So guys, Arik Basala warned Tinobu of revolution. He said, we are in deep trouble. If you don't do things rightly now, talking about the hardship on ground, hmm, don't blame Nigerians when these things will start. Arik Basola is a former ally of President Bola Tinubu. He's a, he has warned that the current Nigerian economy could lead to revolution if not immediately addressed. The Oshun two-term governor lamented that wealth was not concentrated in the hands of a few when he was growing up as it is now. Ariel Basola, who served as a minister under the former president, Muhammad Wari, decried the economy and security challenges of the country. He said, when I was born and during my developmental years, wealth was not as limited to the hands of a very few people as it is today. So what does that tell us? It tells us that we are in deep trouble. Okay, uh, <laughs> Nigerians, uh, you see, you know, and I know these politicians, hmm? and I know all these politicians say they are chameleons, you understand? Maybe we just hear a few uh, comments from Nigerians. The first person I have here said, shame on you, Ariad Basala. Do you know how much debt you left when you were leaving the office? Where are the first and the second bailouts? You contribute serious problem to the state, which the current governor now facing. How can we develop in as a state? Baba Arik Basala. Arik Basala, you are a disgrace to Lagosian. You of all people, look where you must. You, you met yourself is ashamed. Uh, don't you people see that the president is deaf and cannot uh, listen or, or hear? So let's cry to God. Inter God will intervene. Well, uh, these are a few reactions I will take for now. You know, we have one common problem in Nigeria. When people start complaining about situation of things, and uh, maybe, okay, let's, for example, that say, just like as this Arik Basolana don't get fallout with President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, and he don't they talk, say, see, this thing, when would they do like this, in all good though, we need to do something urgently to avoid problem in f in future. You go see these people go come and come talk, say, why you they talk? When you were there, what did you do? And all those kind of stuff. See, these things are not going to help anybody. Because several times, I when I hear the former president talk, Olusegun Obasanjo, you know, concerning this uh, government, concerning the Nigerian economy and the steps they are supposed to take to avoid more problems, you will hear them saying all sorts of things. You caused the problem. When you were there, what did you do? Did you not do more than that? Come on. Yesterday has gone. We are talking about today. Okay, let's take it like those uh, leaders. They not do well. But today they have realized that what they would have done, they did not do it. Okay, let's just see how to face it. Is it bad? I don't think it's bad. If we continue like this, we are going to go nowhere. The problem of Nigeria will persist. Because as it is right now, we are even the biggest enemies to ourselves. We have refused to tell ourselves the truth because of little, little things when they get from these politicians. Well, the former Director General of the Voice of Nigeria, Vaughn, and the Chieftain of the Ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, Mr. Osita Okechuku, has urged Nigerians to be patient with President Bola Tinubu, noting that President Tinubu appreciates the suffering and their hunger in the country. Mr. Osita Okechuku made this disclosure during an interview on Arise Television from 2.24, thereby urging Nigerians to be patient with the president. Mr. Okechuku went on 
and noted that President Tunubu has taken some bold and courageous decisions to move the country forward. He said President Bola Tinubu appreciates the suffering in the land, so he appreciates the hunger in the land. In addition, he made it known that President Tunubu has prepared grant for international community to know that the country means business now due to some of the economic policies he has adopted. So he went on and urged Nigerians to give him the needed support so as to move the country to the next level. I just pray that Nigerians no go by finish before Nigeria, uh, President Bola Metinubu we get it right. Okay, guys, I did drop out for you. Uh, kindly drop your comment below the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Please share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you.